algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression is a math phrase with numbers, variables, and operations. And the parts of an expression are called terms. So here we have algebraic expression of two apples, three oranges, three bananas, two oranges and an apple. And what I have here are five terms, five different parts of the expression. Like terms are terms that have the same variables raised to the same exponents. So here you can clearly see that we have uh, some groups that should be going together and those would be like terms. So if I write out the expression as 2a plus 3o plus 3b plus 2o plus a, the reason why like terms are so important is you can only group or simplify like terms together. So in this case, I can only add apples together. The bananas have to stay separate, and the oranges can all go together. So now I've simplified the expression so it looks much simpler, much easier to work with. 3a plus 5o plus 3b. And that's as far as you can go, because you can only add or subtract like terms. All right, so we have 2r squared plus 5r minus r squared plus 9. And use the plus and minus signs to tell you where the terms are. And in this case, there are four terms. Now, you can only add and subtract like terms. So 2r squared goes with the minus r squared, and 2 minus 1 makes 1r squared. Now we have the next term, 5r, which doesn't match anything else, so that's just going to be plus 5r. And then at the end, there's a plus 9. So this is the simplified version. Here we have the expression 7 plus 3p minus 2 minus 4q plus 1. And again, use the plus signs and minus signs to tell you where the terms are, and there are five terms. All right, the first term is 7. And it has no variables, so it goes with all the other terms that have no variables, with the negative 2 and the plus 1. So 7 minus 2 plus 1 is 6. All right, the two remaining terms have variables, but they do not have the same variable. So it'll be plus 3p and then minus 4q. So the final expression is 6 plus 3p minus 4q. The last one we're going to look at is negative 4 times the quantity 3x plus 1 plus 2x. And it's two terms. The parentheses is going to be 1, and then the 2x is the other. But the first term is a little too complicated and can be simplified using the distributive property. Negative 4 times the quantity 3x plus 1. We can distribute the negative 4, multiply that times each term, inside the parentheses. So that's negative 12x minus 4 plus the 2x from the outside of the parentheses. Now you can see that we have three terms. The only two like terms have the x variable. So negative 12x plus 2x is negative 10x minus the 4 term. And that's simplified all the way.